Good morning. Hello, hello, everybody. It's Thursday, February 27th, 2020. If you're seeing me right now, you're probably watching my replay because I just went live. And so Facebook needs a minute to notify you and uh, show up in your feed. I'm going to check my iPad here to see if I'm live. My name's Jennifer Cotton. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Midlothian, Texas. And what that means is I teach card making. Hey, Janet, good morning. And scrapbooking and all kinds of crafting to, um, to people. And then you can get the stuff from me and make the, product, the projects on your own. So, good morning, Janet from North Carolina. Good to see you this morning. Hey, Pam, also in North Carolina. Good morning. As y'all come on, say hi. And that will get you entered into a drawing to win the cards I'm going to make this morning. I'm behind on my drawings. I need to give the cards away from the recent um, Facebook Lives, but they... They're in a stack with sticky notes. They're ready to be given away, so don't worry. And I'm going to attempt to share my video again because I practiced this earlier, and I think I figured it out. Um, from my iPad, I want to share it to my customer VIP group, which uh, anyone can join. Basically, if you're my customer, you can join it. And right now, it's mainly a group where I share okay I think I did it hmm. we'll see where I share class registrations to be honest because I have some people that prefer to get them that way instead of email or they miss the email or it's been deleted or whatever anyway but uh, I do post some samples and stuff from time to time and of course it will grow as time goes on so feel free to join that group if you want Jennifer's VIP Stampin' Up customer group I think is what it's called but you can also um, just ask me and I'll add you so welcome again Jennifer Cotton Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Midlothian Texas I've been a demonstrator for 18 years I signed up in November 2001 if you see anything you like today you can get it from me it's it will be Stampin' Up! merchandise from all of our current catalogs there are three and if you don't have our current minis, let me know and I can send those to you. Of course, obviously, if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator already, I see lots of people coming on. Make sure you guys say hi so that you can be entered to win the cards I make today. Today, I'm going to be making cards for you using the Thoughtful Blooms stamp set. Good morning, Landa. Oh, thank you, Hannah. Good morning. She, Hannah says she'll stay on as long as possible. I know how that is. I have to jump off of other people's lives all the time. So this is the stamp set we're using today. It is free with a $50 purchase through the end of March. So get that while you can. Sorry, I keep pointing to the wrong side. Free with purchase. Our stamp sets that are free with purchase and everything else that's free is till the end of March. But the stamp sets will be available the whole time because we make our own stamps but any of the accessories don't forget they can sell out we've sold out of two of the accessories so far or i call them accessories uh, consumable items so we've sold out of the baker's twine and metallic sequence combo and the kerchief card kit so the designer papers that are in here are in danger <laughs> i mean i'm not saying good morning Teresa. good morning barbara I'm not saying they're even low inventory right now, but before the end of March, they could go away. We don't know how much inventory Stampin' Up! has. And then we have new items coming March. You can get free. Sorry, I got a phone call that probably interrupted. In addition to all the stuff you can get free now, March 3rd, which is Tuesday, there's more stuff you can choose free with purchase. So, there we go. Okay, so again, say hi as you come on today so you can be entered into the drawing. If you'd like to place an order because you see so many amazing things, good morning, Debbie, that you want, um, you can do that on my online store. Once this video is finished, I will upload or I will add a description that has a link to all that kind of stuff. And you can order on my online store. 
every month I have an online ordering special. If you place an online order with me, $25 or more, with this month's host code, you get a free class kit mailed to you. It will be cut, ready for you to stamp and assemble. Everything will be embossed, die cut, punched, as much as possible. Um, and it'll make four cards. This month we're using the Poppies Suite for that um, free card pack. You'll get a PDF tutorial emailed to you to go along with it so you can complete your cards. And so as long as you have the painted poppy stamp set, you'll be able to complete your cards, which is the one on the left side, painted poppies. Um, but I am using the greetings from Peaceful Moments. And if you don't have that, you can substitute other greetings. These dies, painted poppies, uh, I forgot the name of them, but those dies, Painted Labels dies are on back order now. So if you want those, you as of today, those ones in the corner there, you can still order them. Let me check my notes. But they are on back order. So what that means is if you really want those and you haven't gotten them yet, you need to order them now so that you'll be in the queue to get them sent to you when they come off of back order. Once we hit 2,000 items in the U.S. on back order, they go unorderable until we get our new next shipment in. So, hopefully that makes sense. If you want those painted labels, dies, order them now. Now, low inventory are the Poppy Moments dies that go with the other stamp set, but they all coordinate and mix and match together. So, if you want these, they're low inventory. Let me check my notes. Yes. Which means they could go back ordered any day now and then eventually unorderable until we get our shipment in. So, Poppy Moments dies and the Heart Punch Pack are both low inventory. We have several other things on back order, which means you can still order them, but they, they won't come yet, but they'll be shipped to you once they come in. Um, and a few things unavailable. And um, I posted about the Bees dies being going. Good morning, Linda. Good to see you. I was looking for Linda and Tommy because you guys commented on my post yesterday about going live. So I'm glad you made it. So I think you said you were setting an alarm. Thank you very much. So the, the detailed bees dies are now unorderable. They're coming back. Don't, it's not a panic, but you just have to wait a little while now. So you can still order the stamp set, but if you want the bundle, you have to wait until the supply comes back in for those dies. So anyway, that's how it goes because um, this is a limited time catalog. Good morning, Nancy. So due to that, we're gonna run out of stuff or have to get more inventory shipped into us. Okay, so accessories, if you want them, get them, get them early. Okay, so back to the ordering special, there's a host code. I'm gonna point the camera down and show you that in a little bit and if you place an online order on my store with that host code of 25 or more, you get the card packet free mailed to you. If your order's 50 or more, you also get a full free accessory mailed with that. And if it's 150 or more, don't put the host code in. You still get the two gifts from me and you get gifts from Stampin' Up, which is called Stampin' Rewards. They are basically host benefits. Any order of 150 or more is a host party. So you'll get some free dollars worth of merchandise in addition to a free gift with every 50 or 100 spent through the end of March. Okay, uh, a couple of reminders. They should be quick this morning. You're here, Tommy. Good. <laughs> Yay. Um, okay, I think I said hi to everybody. Yay, Tommy made it. So a couple reminders, don't forget I have a free event anyone can earn from me, Celebration Celebration, April 24, 2020. It's a free event that is live or to go. You can earn it three ways, which uh, during Celebration, which is January through March 31st, 2020. If you spend $150 or more with me during that time, for this, um, my free event, I will add up all your orders, even if you have you know, a $20 order, a $50 order, $100, whatever. They all get added together. It comes up to $150 or more. You get to come to this event for free or get it to go. Um, this is for orders only, not class fees. So if 
for example, you purchase the uh, sampler class. I can't think of the sampler class. Like if you bought the honeybee class last month, that doesn't count because it's a class fee. But um, if you bought something from me as a product, it counts. Okay. Uh, if you host a home party with me of 150 or more, you get to come to this event for free. Good morning, Pat. Hey, Sharon. Good to see you. So, host a home party adds up to 150 or more. You get to come for free. If you host a home party and it doesn't add up to 150 or more, it's still going to be worth it because I'm going to come to your house, teach you and your friends how to stamp. You get to make some projects and it will be fun. And then, of course, if you get the starter kit. Remember, if you can't attend this event live, you get it to go um, either mailed to you or in person next time I see you if you're a local customer. So, it's for my long distance customers as well. Hey, Candy, good morning. Hope you're all packed and ready to go tomorrow. <laughs> uh, monthly live classes are March 20th and 21st. Details will be coming out uh, in my monthly news which i believe is next week week march 5th at 9 a.m which is a facebook live but it will be <laughs> thank you Catherine. she says good morning teacher facebook live next week is my monthly newsletter so there'll be more news in that one bingo is tomorrow here at my house at 6 30 p.m in midlothian and i have three spots open so if you want to come to bingo contact me and you can $29, four projects, you get a little gift from me, and uh, fun, so and you might win some prizes. Stamping Cruise, you can still attend the 2020 Stamping Cruise. It's going to be a ton of fun, as it always is. This is our fourth annual Crafting Cruise April McCrite and I do together. It's October 25th through November 1st on Liberty of the Seas. You and or your friends can take advantage of our group rate. Even if you don't do the crafting portion, you can get a cheaper cruise through mid-July is the deadline for that. And last week I did a frequently asked questions about our cruise. So I'm gonna put a link to that video in the description of this video and you will be able to go watch that if you want to see the frequently asked questions. Good morning, Susie. Thank you for sharing. Sharon, oh, I'm glad you said you shared because I forgot to say, of course, if you share the video, you're also entered again to win my cards from today. And of course, when you share the video, that helps me, so I appreciate it. But you need a comment that you shared like Sharon just did because otherwise, Facebook might not tell me you did. Thank you, Janet, for sharing as well. Um. Okay, March retreat in a box. We have a retreat in a box plus four optional classes option um, available. Sorry, to purchase. It's all to go. So the kit will be mailed to you. You'll get PDF instructions emailed out. You create it at home on your own time with uh, your own schedule, basically. And of course, you use your supplies. And thank you for sharing, Catherine. Um you can purchase any of those five options separately only one class only two classes retreat in a box plus a class retreat in a box only when you click the link you'll see that you pick and choose what you want um, if you do get retreat in a box shipping is free for any one through four classes you add i've done sneak peeks of the projects that i'm doing or April and I are doing together. So I've done a sneak peek video of the Retreat in a Box projects, the Country Club Masculine stamp -a stack class, and the Tropical Oasis card class, which personally I think all of them are amazing. I also have two other classes you can take. They are Birthday Bonanza, which is a variety of birthday projects, cards, gift card holders, bags, uh, bag tags, sorry, and so on and the Timeless Tulips All Occasion stamp -a stack which is 12 cards, three designs of each. Uh, three designs, four cards each, sorry. Anyway, so any questions on that, just let me know. All right, let me catch up here because I'm about to point this camera down. Thank you. Oh, good morning, Stacy in Florida. You probably have nice weather. Uh, <laughs> Linda's gonna go make breakfast. Okay, hurry back, Linda. 
Thank you for sharing, Landa. Thank you for sharing, Lisa and Pat and Stacy. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Once I point the camera down, I can't see the comments as good. I do have my iPad over here, but I'm looking at the stamping. So, um, but I'm going to point it down and we're going to give another um, sample starter kit because Stampin' Up! Right now, you can join as a demonstrator to get the discount on your own purchases. Um, through March 31st and get a bunch of extra stuff free. So, it is a truly no-lose situation if you do that. Purchase the kit and you decide it's not for you. That's not a problem. Because uh, nothing bad happens. You get to keep all your stuff. You don't owe any money back. Nobody, no police come after you and want you to uh, place an order or do a party. Nothing happens. You just drop off being able to get your discount. But you can, if you get our starter kit, get the discount, uh, earn extra money, participate in my team activities and events, Facebook group, and see order from catalogs early there's so many different things you can do as a stampin up demonstrator and that will last even if you get the kit now through at least july 2020 even if you do nothing you'll get to see the sneak peeks our new catalog in may that comes out in june order from it early with a discount get host benefits everything it's amazing so any questions on that let me know because i think anyone who loves stampin up should be a demonstrator so they can get their stuff cheaper through themselves so here's the page about joining through march 31st the special is for 99 you get 125 of anything you want you get a six by six designer paper sampler pack you get our new mini trimmer which is only available in this kit right now you can't get it any other way and a free stamp set of your choice so all that can add up to about 259 that you would pay to me depending on what free set you choose, okay? Also, if you host a party or place an order of $300 or more through March 31st, you get the little ladybug stamp set for free. And then as y'all know, you can get a free gift with every 50 or $100 through March 31st. No limit, you spend 100, you pay 250s or one 100, you spend you know, whatever amount you get to mix and match. Don't forget that sold out kerchief card kit and the sequence and twine is sold out. So if you want these designer papers, I would get them early and the dies. I forget to mention those, but that'll be while supplies last as well. Um, and then new stuff's coming out March 3rd. In addition to this, you can still get those as well. So for celebration, there or what I want to do again is give you an example of what you could get in your starter kit. So what could you spend your 125 on? Again, you can spend it on anything you want. But here's a little recommendation. The special someone stamp set and the while the I'm sorry, let me not say while supplies last. The special days dies that match it. And these dies are currently while supplies last, but these are coming back in our next catalog, which means I'm pretty sure this will be coming back. So that's a good investment. You buy it now and it'll still be a current product in the future. So, and they're adorable. I used these on my video last week, my Facebook Live. So you can get that. Then this is a stamp set that could be not difficult to align but challenging so get the stamparatus in there if you don't have the stamparatus get it comes with two plates you can stamp from two sides and then when you flip it around your plate around that makes four sides you can stamp from all you do is remove the foam to use red rubber put it back to use photopolymer it's open on two sides you can put 12 by well any size paper you want in there and just stamp within this area so flip your paper around when you need to move it you can move the plate down these hinges, and so you can stamp an image repeatedly down the line by moving the plate. This is the best stamp positioning tool on the market. Grab that with your kit. Uh, get a couple of ink pads. I just have 
these are random samples today because I honestly couldn't pick one, I mean two colors. That would be up to you. See what you have or don't have. Throw in, of course, some Whisper White cardstock because we always need that. And then add some rhinestones. And you have got approximately $125 starter kit. Then, of course, you're going to get the new tr mini trimmer for free. And, of course, you're going to get the designer paper sampler pack for free. That's exclusive, by the way, as well. It's different designs than in our catalog. You're going to get a free past paper pumpkin. You always get that in our starter kit. And then you're going to choose a stamp set that you like for free. So I'm recommending an expensive one, like one of these two. These are double sets where you get two boxes. But you can pick any stamp set you want from any current catalog that's for sale, not free with purchase or free with hosting. So that's the my suggestion today. Don't forget though, pick whatever you want in our starter kit. I'm gonna be using these two items in our stamping today and the rhinestones and these ink pads. Put them where they belong. And I'm not using Stamparatus today, but it's amazing, so you need that. And we're not using these stamps today either. We used those last week. Okay, so let's see. Of course, let me triple check my notes. So if you have any questions on getting that starter kit, let me know. I can help. I probably maybe know all the answers. <laughs> Um, oh, and here's this month's host code if you would like to order online. So for this first card, here are the supplies we need. They are, I'm checking my notes as well to make sure I didn't miss anything, but I think I did not this time. And if you guys have any questions, don't forget about what's on back order or unavailable and all that stuff. I can answer those as well. I see more of you guys shared it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hana, free is your favorite. Same. Love it. Good morning, Darla. Good to see you. Thank you for sharing, Tommy and Stacy and Pat. I noticed last week it appeared that I missed a lot of comments when I was checking them. So I don't know what happened. And who knows? So if I do miss you, it's not on purpose or if I skip you. Last week, to me, it appeared that I skipped several people. Okay, so our card base is normal. You take eight and a half by 11 cardstock and cut it in half, any color you want. I'm using Whisper White. So eight and a half by 11, cut in half. So it's five and a half by eight and a half. And I'm gonna fold that in half with the bone folder. I like to leave it, my paper on the table, align the two corners, pinch it only once, and then press really firmly with my bone folder. And that's the card base. That will fit into a standard invitation size envelope, which of course we carry, and ours are the best, and they're called medium. Uh, when you use the bone folder, the insides aren't so wrinkly as when you only use your finger. And then we'll set that aside. I have a piece of granny apple green that is four by five and a fourth, a scrap of whisper white, and another scrap of whisper white. I'm a... Uh, Oh, I was blanking out on what my card looked like for a second. And then I'm going to use this free with the starter kit designer paper and my my uh, trimmer, mini trimmer. And I'm also going to use some rhinestones on this card. And one last thing. This is the, I have some leftovers there, the Granny Apple Green uh, textured weave ribbon. So that's pretty much all of our supplies. So before I do this, let me just get my stamping done. So I've shown the Big Shot on several videos recently. So to save you a little time today on this card, I'm going to, I pre die cut this oval. So actually I just can turn my paper sideways. And in this case on this card, I die cut the oval from Whisper White first. And this is the Stitched Shapes Framelits. These are a must have honestly in your stamping world because I use them all the time anyway and I think a lot of people do. So we're gonna die cut that out and then stamp on it. So there's our oval. That is I believe the medium oval. There are 
Oh, well, it's the next to the largest because there's the other three. So it's the second down size. Okay. And as I believe I mentioned before, I'm using the Thoughtful Bloom stamp set free with purchase. And I'm also using the uh, Bloom, man, I can never remember the name of that punch, but it's got the word Bloom in it. Small Bloom, I think. Small Bloom punch. Free with a $100 purchase. Now, this punch will be available for purchase in the future. I'm assuming that means our next catalog that comes out in June. So, if you can only get one because of your budget, get this one and you can buy this later. If you can get both, get both like me. <laughs> okay, so there's our stamp set we're using. And so, let me grab my stamps. This stamp set has a little thank you. Of course, it has flowers. And then there are some stem and leaf stamps. I did forget to pull my ink pads. We are using Melon Mambo and Granny Apple Green. And I was thinking that I had pre-punched these flowers, but I think I must not have. So let me stamp everything for you real quick. So first I want Melon Mambo. Our ink pads are amazing. You open it up like a cell phone from the 90s or a makeup compact like you're going to look in the mirror and then you just slide it open and then you press gently on the pads. Not too hard. Just move the stamp around so that you get even inking but you don't have to press hard to get even inking. And I need... One, two, three, four of these stamp, uh, flowers. So it's just on a scrap here so I can punch it out. And I was going to say something else about these flowers, but I lost it. I just, I just received a phone call. Hopefully I'm back. I just received a phone call, so I paused for a second so you wouldn't lose anything, hopefully. Yeah, we're back. Okay, so after you stamp, you can align this and punch out your four flowers. One, two. You can also just punch, use this punch and punch flowers out of regular cardstock and or designer paper, and it's really cute as well. But there are a couple of flowers in this set that match it, which you'll see also in my other samples. Um, so there's that. We have our four flowers. And then on this piece, we're going to add the little stems and our greeting. And they're all in Granny Apple Green. So I want to do the greeting first. And so I die cut this first today because otherwise I wouldn't know how far down to add my leaves and stuff, basically. And this... Anyway, it allows me to get that greeting exactly where I want it at this stitching here. So then I'm going to add three stems. One kind of right in the center. Again, I'm inking very gently so that my, uh, that ink doesn't get all over my clear block. And also when you ink too hard on Stampin' Up's ink pads, it, pushes the ink away from your stamps and they don't you don't get as good of an image so there is a solid leaf image that I'm going to stamp on scratch paper and then stamp onto my project again repeat I might be stamping this upside down it's very uh, small so it's not gonna make a huge difference if it was upside down <laughs> But I'm basically putting two leaves on each stem. And then there's a cute little detailed leaf that goes right on top of it. So in full strength, Granny Apple Green, I will add these on top. As you guys come on, don't forget to say hi and or share the video and then comment that you shared so that you can be entered into a drawing to win these three cards I'm making today. There you go, super easy. So now we have somewhere to put our flowers on top of. Let me move these off this area. 
So I'm going to attach, oh, I know what I was gonna say. It was about the, sil the foam mat. So I have a very firm table here, but if you don't, if you have a card table, a plastic table, flexible, bumpy, you know, wood grain where there's, you know, indentions in it, use our stamp and pierce mat under your cardstock when you stamp with photopolymer stamps, which are these ones that are totally clear and see-through to get a crisp image. Ooh, I knew there was something I wanted to say a minute ago. Okay, so for this design, I'm going to add adhesive or add two of the flowers flat with snail adhesive. That'll be the two on each side. And then I'm gonna just curl this up with my hands, this flower and add it on with a mini Stampin' Dimensional. Let's put that there since I've already got one there. And then curl this one up and also add with a mini Stampin' Dimensional. Thank you for sharing, Darla and Sue. Good morning, Sue. <laughs> Love the mini trimmer, Sherry. Yes, and I'm about to use it. Good morning, Tammy. Rhonda, thank you for sharing. I'm glad you made it as well. And Helen, thank you. Glad you like the flowers. Okay. Then I'm going to offset it so that you can see the petals underneath. So there's that. Let me go ahead and add my rhinestones just to get that part out of the way. So these are just regular rhinestones. Our champagne rhinestones are currently unorderable, but they will be back as well once we get our new shipment in of them. <laughs> so, but you cannot order those right now. Not that they would look good on this card, but just more of an information. So, rhinestones, I like to use my take your pick tool, dig, uh, put my finger on top of the rhinestone so it doesn't fly off the table and then dig up under it and let it stick to the take your pick tool and then place it wherever you want on your project. So there's the rhinestones for this one. And then I need a couple more elements. I always lose the lid to this when I'm working. So a couple more elements. One is gonna be this designer paper so there are samplings in here, again, you can only get this with our starter kit, of several different designer paper packs from the Mini and Celebration. So the one I'm using is this one. This is a Celebration designer paper, but in the one you get free with Celebration, this is not what's on the back of this and vice versa. None of these are what's on the back of the one you get when you buy it which is pretty cool because you're getting a truly exclusive item here in the starter kit. And that's the only way you can get that. Okay, so I want my these brush strokes to go this way. I saw a video that Stampin' Up! did this morning where they showed how they designed this paper. They actually did oil paintings and then they photographed it and created this paper. I thought that was really cool. Okay, so the mini trimmer is perfect for six by six paper. And I need this piece to be three and one fourth by four and a half. Now I will admit that for like just because of my brain, this number three, for example, is printed here. And so somehow I kept going to this line behind it for three inches, but it's actually the line after it. So I put a little Sharpie dot where the three inches, the two inches, even the one inch, because you can remove this guard if you don't want it there. So I took it off, put a dot at one inch and four inch. Anyway, just because my brain is terrible. Um, but I want three and one fourth. So all you do, of course, make sure it's all the way against the back. Make sure it's aligned at the number of inches you want. And then you hold this guide down and cut. This gives an extremely sharp cut. Oh, I feel like I did it wrong. Oh, three and a fourth. I wrote it down. <laughs> it's
It's not three and a fourth. That's what I wrote down. It's not the cutter's fault. It's three and three fourths. Um, anyway, it gives you an extremely sharp edge cut. And these type gu guillotine cutters, so there's three, one, two, three fourths. I know it's three and three fourths. I don't know why I wrote that down. It's gonna go on here. Um, they self sharpen. So three and three fourths by four and a half. Four and a half, I think that's wrong too. I think my brain was not working with me yesterday. Yeah, it should be. Oh, that's the purple. Okay, five inches. Yeah. Let me show y'all. Purple. That's the other card. Pink is this one. Three and three fourths by five. Okay, brain did work. So, five inches, right? This only goes to four and a fourth. So, at first, I, with my lovely brain, was like, that's not a thing we can do. And then I realized you just take off an inch. So, we're going to go up to the one inch mark. I just want more of this white to show, so I switched that around. To get, this is six inches long, to get a five inch piece, go up to the one inch mark. I'm sure everybody else is like, duh. Uh, make sure it's against the back edge of your trimmer, and then hold this down nice and firm, and there you go. Awesome. And now we're ready to assemble. I don't want to forget my bow. This is um, a very simple card, by the way. I just made it seem not simple <laughs> with my lovely cutting skills or reading notes skills. Uh, so I put adhesive on the designer paper. I'm going to attach it there and then attach this to the card base with my snail adhesive. And then I did attach the oval flat. And I know I made it bulky, but it's a large piece, so it is not a problem to add adhesive to it. And I'm going a little um, higher than centered. And then I just need a bow from the Granny Apple Green textured weave ribbon. So I'm going to do a bunny ear bow, lots of space between the two bunny ears. You can't have those super close together. I take my right hand, cross it over, make like an X here, and then that right hand bow or loop excuse me which is the ear goes through the rabbit hole there and you pull and then of course it will look like this crazy and you fix it that is a bunny ear bow we're gonna trim and if this were on a roll i would have zero waste on this side this is left over from some event i'm sure where i had done something and so it's not on a roll but normally my ribbon is on a roll mini glue dot to attach the ribbon don't touch the dot only let the embellishment touch it press pull the dot off with it easier said than done and place it on our card and there we go this is a nice simple little card you know, not too elaborate, not too many steps, all that stuff. We did get to use our new mini trimmer with it. And here's the original one that I made. So they are pretty similar. And that's one of the cards, of course, that you can win today, possibly by sharing the video. Okay, so there's that one. Now we will move on to card number two. Maybe I'll get my cutting right this time. This is the last one I have to cut a piece for you for. So on this one, we have our Whisper White card base. You know all about that. Another piece of Whisper White that's three, sorry, four by five and a fourth. A scrap of Whisper White that I am going to die cut for you. And then another scrap, just like the one before. Actually, I could just use that same one and not be wasteful. So there is, or there are my supplies. On this one, I am going to, let me get this die cutting over with a little bit quickly for you. I'm going to be using Gorgeous Grape and Highland Heather ink. 
So with Gorgeous Grape, I just want to stamp the greeting. And this stamp set has the cutest greeting. This one here. I'll show you once I stamp it. It says, I'm always amazed but never surprised by your thoughtfulness. So not only is that a great saying, but the font is super cute. The way they have the cursive mixed in with the straight font. I love it. So that was Gorgeous Grape. And we are going to use the same stitch shapes framelits, but the circle. Um, I believe it's the third smallest. So large next, and then this one. And then also with this, uh, this piece here, we're going to emboss it with the hardwood, or, sorry, pine wood planks embossing folder. And I want my planks to go this direction a long way. So you just look at the image on the folder, obviously, and turn your paper the direction you want the, the image to go. So I want them to be long. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in so I don't forget about that. Grab my machine real quick. As always, we don't carry the Big Shot anymore, which is what this is, but any die cutting machine will work with Stampin' Up's dies and embossing folders. And then we will be coming out with our own machine in the future. But for this one, for the Big Shot, you want to have a, well, I have the magnetic platform. You can use the regular platform as well that comes with the machine. Then I have a cut up clear cutting pad, cardstock, die, and of course you position it to fit your image. And then a clear cutting pad on top. And then just run it through the machine. And that is it. Super easy. Your image pops right out. It's got little stitching around it, so it's super cute. And that's obviously how I did that oval earlier. And then I'm switching to my regular platform that comes with the Big Shot without the thin die adapter. Just set that aside. And then I'm using one regular clear cutting pad on top because this is an old 3D embossing folder. So one clear cutting pad on top only, nothing, no cutting pad under because it's 3D, so it only takes one cutting pad and just running that through one time. And I'll always insert the folded end into my Big Shot first so that it doesn't possibly crack this end. And there's that. That's a, That folder is an oldie but goodie. <laughs> and we'll get that out of the way. Let's see what everybody's saying. I'm glad y'all, you guys like that card. Hey, Kelly, I see you too. Mailing some stuff to you today, Kelly. I think I emailed yesterday about the kits I'm mailing out today. Okay, so for stamping for this card, yeah, the only other thing we need is some flowers. We need five, but I'm only going to do one, and I pre-did the other four for you. So these are two other flower stamps that come in the stamp set. So we want to do the larger flower in a lighter color. So that's Highland Heather. And then the smaller flower in darker, which is Gorgeous Grape here. Again, I'm inking lightly and you just align it right on top, and there you go. That's basically all you have to do. Of course, you can combine these so many different ways. You could turn the second one so that the petals are different. It wouldn't match the punch then, but it would still be super cute. You can use the, single, the small one as a single flower. You can mix and match this with the first flower that I used, and so on, so lots of options there. So we need five of these. And then we need some ribbon and our designer paper. And then I think we're good to go, ready to assemble after that. So the ribbon I'm gonna use is the awesome tri-color 
ribbon. That's what it's called. Well, purple tricolor ribbon. And it's several different purples that Stampin' Up! carries in one ribbon. So cute. And then I need some designer paper. This time I'm going to understand my notes properly. Read the color. I think I'm using the very first one here. Yes. So this is gorgeous paper from the, what do we call it? Um, it's the, with the makeup and all that stuff, but I can't think of what it's called offhand. Maybe that will come to me. But this paper is gorgeous, the whole pack. It has lipsticks and shoes and all kinds of stuff, as well as florals. Okay, so we're going to get our little mini trimmer out again. On this one, I don't really... Oh, yeah, I'm going to get some of that dark. So for this one, I need three and a fourth by four and a half. So three and a fourth. You've been through this before today. <laughs> Love it when I mess up in front of people by four and a half. So for four and a half, again, this only goes to four and a fourth. So I'm going to take off an inch and a half. Actually, I want to take off the lighter end. So I'm going to go to one and a half. The lighting is giving me a reflection. Anyway, one and a half inches off and that is three and a fourth by four and a half. So if you don't have this mini trimmer, get that kit so you can get it and you'll get this paper too. That trimmer is going to be great also for scrapbooking, for cropping down your photos and stuff as well. Trimming down paper pumpkin kits, all kinds of stuff. So we'll do our card base like we I showed you guys earlier. Then we can go ahead and attach our embossed Whisper White four by five and a fourth flat. Since it's embossed, I'm being, putting a little more adhesive than I did on the last card because it's a little bit textured. And then this piece I added with Stampin' Dimensionals just to give it a little extra. And I think I used three, maybe four, um, cut in half. And anyway, we'll see real quick if it was three or four. But basically I did, because it's a large piece, I wanted to go around the edges of the cardstock or designer paper. I think I'm going to do one more, actually one and a half, because I want it at the top and bottom there so it's nice and balanced, and then one in the center. And it'll give me as much lift as if I used full dimensionals, but I used half as many. So the backing off of these. Stampin' Dimensionals are also another must-have item in addition to the Stitch Shapes framelits. <laughs> and this is going to go in the center of this card. Card front, I should say. Right there. Then the greeting is going to go in the center flat. Is it center? No, it's up towards the top a little bit. Sorry, but you know what I mean. Then I'm going to pop up half of the, well, th uh, sorry, two of the flowers, and then the other three will be flat. So I'm going to start. What I do when I do stuff like this is I don't press very hard or at all so that I can reposition things if they're not where I want them. You need to pay attention that you're not covering up your words. And then I'll use those mini dimensionals on these two. So I'll bring them over in case you missed that. By the way, if you just came on, um, don't forget to say hi and don't forget to share and comment that you shared so that you can be entered to win the three cards I'm making today. So I'm turning that one a little bit so that I'm always still shows. And then turn that one a little bit. And then everything looks 
good so I'm going to press and then I'm gonna add rhinestones I don't think I mentioned those for this card earlier grab that take your pick tool again each flower is going to get rhinestones it will make it really um, pop just go under that little guy I love these the purple pink is really more my favorite color but I love purple cards and projects so there you go and then another bunny ear bow and I barely have enough of this ribbon to do this card I've got to order more of this but I found a scrap in my drawer yesterday of ribbon scraps that I was able to make the bow for my sample so then I knew I'd have enough for the video actually that wasn't yesterday but whatever day I made my cards a few days ago I think Monday um, also a reminder next week's Facebook live it should be Thursday at 9 but it will be my monthly news so I usually make one card for that one and share info about upcoming classes and other events for March just FYI glue dots right here so this card is just about done. What do y'all think? Let's see who's here. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Nancy and Patricia, that you like the card. Best dressed paper. Thank you, Pam Simmons. I couldn't think of it at all. Like I was completely blank. So there's that card. And the other, the first one I made, I think I did my semicircle a little bit better. So I always pick the one that I think looks the best for the winner, FYI. So the winner will probably get this card whenever I do that drawing. And that's for commenting or sharing the video. So, hope you guys like that. Thank you, thank you. Hey, Valley Chick, good to see you. Thank you, Pam. Thanks, Patricia, for sharing. Hey, in Tennessee, Deborah. Kelly, thank you for sharing as well. Yeah, the purple ribbon. Hey, Melly, good to see you. Pat, watch your mailbox. Ooh, I like that. I don't know if she's talking to me or Kelly, though. Okay, so there's that one. We have one more card to make. Now, this one, the other two were my designs, so to say. This one is highly inspired by another demonstrator card that I saw on an exclusive Facebook group only for demonstrators called Demonstrator Planning Place. So if you want to get our starter kit, you can be in that group as well. <laughs> anyway, and my pieces, again, we've got Whisper White card base, four by five and a fourth Whisper White, another scrap of Whisper White here, and then literally all I have left of this beautiful petal pink gold edge ribbon that is on back order but not an orderable yet so again get in line and order that if you want it now it's in our mini catalog uh, but these will be enough scraps for me to make this card and then I'm going to use a piece of paper from the designer paper stack as well so I think I'm going to start with that we are going to do a little bit of heat embossing here for a second so on this card I'm using this piece here, which is from Tropical Oasis, I believe. That's the sweet. Um, not sure if that's the designer paper exact name or not. But I need a two inch circle from this side. So you see how you get such a variety of papers in this kit. It's not every single paper or every design from every uh, paper in the mini catalog, but it's a lot. But that's the last one I'm using today. So let me move that out of my way. Okay, so I need my circle. And this is what I'm going to heat emboss on. So I like to remove the static from my paper that I'm going to emboss with a dryer sheet from the laundry. An unused dryer sheet. So I do that. Then I have a 
Oh, I don't need that yet, but that's a piece of cardboard covered in foil. Tip I got years ago from a good friend to uh, heat emboss on top of. I'm going to stamp in Whisper White. When you're heat embossing, you need a sticky ink that is that the powder will stick to. So Whisper White is good because it's a craft ink, or you can use Versamark ink. And I have my Whisper White ink refill, and I refilled it in one spot here just to have a thicker layer of Whisper White because I'm heat embossing and I want it very wet and thick. And this says congratulations, but the word you is highlighted in this stamp. Again, it's from that same stamp set. And I'm just going to put that right in the center of the circle. And then I'm going to scoop it under my white embossing powder. When you purchase our embossing powder, it comes in a little jar. And you can keep it in that and use scratch paper to funnel your powder back into that jar when you heat emboss. But I move it to these old cases, which we don't carry anymore, but you can use like a Tupperware, a little container from a dollar store or whatever. Um, so that all you have to do is scoop your paper under the powder, thump off the excess. If you have more powder sticking where you don't want it, use a, a paintbrush and remove that, and then you heat it. And this is a small circle. I did almost burn myself when I heated this the other day. Here's our heat tool. So I made sure and found my clothespin, which I normally have clipped to here, but somehow it had gotten removed, which helps you hold the paper either in your hand or down like this. And then again, this will keep you from catching everything on fire. For heat embossing, you wanna turn your heat tool to number two, which is hot, and just uh, hold it over the image kind of until it gets hot and then you'll see the image change to shiny and wet and then you just keep moving down the line until the whole thing is shiny and wet looking. You don't want to overheat it because then it will become not shiny anymore and but when you're finished you want to check it and make sure you didn't miss a spot so reflect it in a light source make sure it's shiny and doesn't look grainy like salt or pepper. And if not, then you heat embossed it good. And there you go. Then the other part, oh, I, well, there's two more things to stamp. I'm looking at the card like, oh, I forgot about that. On this piece of Whisper White here, we're gonna add a little background in petal pink with this little stamp from the set, and it's just these little dots awesome when stamp sets have little images you can use as a background. So I'm going to ink it up gently as always and then stamp it a few times kind of in a what's the word going down the at a diagonal. When you stamp off petal pink it's extremely light so you can barely see it but it you can see it like it's just really light maybe on the video you cannot um, but there's very light dots in these other spots and then we'll check it when we go to assemble the car to make sure there are enough dots there but this is my direction so the top right down to the bottom left here it is for you guys and then the other thing we're doing on this card is with soft suede ink. I'm trying to remember. I think I punched my flowers first, so I'm going to go back to this scrap, <clears throat> which is one and a fourth, by the way. <coughs> Excuse me. And I believe I punched my flowers first, and then I stamped this little image that comes in the set, and it actually, to me, it looks like it could even substitute as a snowflake. So it can be a flower center. It can be like a background image, but I really think you could use it as a snowflake, say in winter or Christmas time. Kind of cute. And then I took, which we are lucky the sponge is still here because the cat has t 
taken it off the table multiple times this week. I set all this up on Monday and she has removed it from the table many times. It looks like a wonderful toy to her. And we're gonna sponge Petal Pink ink on this. And I needed several flowers, so I pre-did all of the rest. But uh, anyway, I did this to all of them, sorry. There's no but. <laughs> That's it. Petal Pink, little sponge. This Our sponges are round, you get three to a pack. And then I cut mine into fourths. Okay, so we are ready to assemble. The first thing I want to do is add my ribbon. I'm going to do that little thing where you add ribbon coming from behind on the corners. But today, I'm going to be very thrifty with it. So I added adhesive where I think the ribbon needs to go here and here. And I've got my petal pink ribbon that this is all I have left. So I'm go going to make that loop shape and then bend this backwards and snip it off. <laughs> I'm trying to match it to my other one exactly, but that may not happen. Okay, how cool is that? If you didn't get it enough adhesive in the right spot, you just fix that real quick because this will get secured with dimensionals anyway. And then that piece may be too short for a loop, so I can use that for something else later. So then you just kind of try to align it so that it looks like it's coming from the other side. I hope y'all can see what I'm doing properly here, like at the angles I'm holding this. And that is good. Let me add a little more adhesive right there. Bend it back down. So, did you guys catch what I did on that? So, it's fake. <laughs> and I do this a lot anyway, even if I'm not short on ribbon, just to use less ribbon. I'm kind of holding that one down. So, let me just place a dimensional to secure that down. Easy. We'll probably use two more full dimensionals cut in half. So I can spread them around. You always, I kind of mess that up, but you always want to make sure you overlap the ribbon and the cardstock that it's on. It's touching both, so it secures it down. If it's only touching the ribbon, that could pull off your card later. Okay, and then that's going to get attached to this white cardstock that we stamped. How's it going over here? You're talking to me, Patricia. Yes, that's what I was hoping. That means Patricia said to check my mail. I mean, Pat, I'm sorry. I always read y'all's full names on Facebook, but that's Pat. And then we're gonna attach this here. And then I think I did Stampin' Dimensionals on all my little flowers. So let me flip them over. Love the purple Sharon, good flip them all over there. Get this stuff out of my way. Mini dimensionals. Let's count how many flowers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it looks like I did eight. Or she could modify that if needed or wanted. And then they're just going to kind of cascade down the card as well. I had three at the top, so let me take the backings off of three. I definitely wanted one coming down into the circle. And then kind of like that. That was funny. I had a flower stuck to me. And then we'll do the other five. So this was a card, again, that I saw on called the Demonstrator Planning Place. It's similar. Hers is different, so I don't feel like it's a full copy. It was just inspired, but she did her flowers this way. 
a different middle and I think different pages. I got a phone call, so I paused again so I could, you know. Okay, sorry, I'm getting a lot of phone calls today. They may be actual important calls. I need to check as soon as I'm done because I have uh, relatives that I'm taking care of that are, anyway, it's complicated, but that's why I think I've received three phone calls during this Facebook Live. So, that is the front. Got my eight flowers on there. Let's attach this to our card base. Again, I don't need as much adhesive as that embossed piece earlier. Here is this card. So these are the cards we made today. Hope you guys like them. Um, let me know what you think. They all use the Thoughtful Bloom stamp set, which again is free with a $50 purchase through the end of March. By the way, if you are a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, like if you buy our starter kit, you get to take advantage of all the Stampin' Up! specials as well. So every time we spend $50 or $100 as a demonstrator, thank you guys for the hearts, you get to pick those these gifts free as well. So it's not, you know, a lot of companies have restrictions with that kind of stuff. These are only a customer special or whatever, not with Stampin' Up. Customer specials and demonstrator specials are one in the same. So let's see, I'm going to <laughs> come back up. Thank you guys very much for watching today. I appreciate you. Oh, thank you, Stacy. I'm glad you liked that third card. Yeah, Linda, it's um, it's a relative that's not, you know, anyway, they're kind of sick. So, thank you for saying that. Nancy, thank you very much. I'm sure I'm going to miss some of your comments here, but uh, Sharon says, spring cards, thank you. Beautiful, Charlotte. Thank you, Melly and Sue and Rhonda. Thank you guys so much. Hey, Sharon, good to see you. Thank you, Pat. Cool trick. Sharon Jackson made it. Yay. Kim, I'm glad you like the purple card. So, if I missed your comments, like I said, I apologize. Last week, I know I didn't see all the comments that were there later live. So, who knows? You know, who knows? It could have been me, though. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you next week, Thursday at 9 a.m. Again, if I, if anything changes, you'll get updated that it's not happening or that it is happening by email and Facebook post. So make sure you guys sign up for my email newsletter so you can get notified when I'm having specials and events and going live and get those class links and or just, you know, as you do already, follow my Facebook page so you can get notified when, <laughs> when we're going live. Okay, Janet, I have to read this. These cards might have pushed you over the edge. I love it. I hope that by that you mean you'll pick Thoughtful Blooms next time you order. And, um, <laughs> yes, that bingo, Sherry. Um, but I do think this is a super cute stamp set. And I didn't even use this part, which is really, let me point to it correctly, um, super cute on so many cards that you'll see online. And it just didn't fit in. I had it out and mounted and it didn't fit in. So that's another, you can put the flowers in the center of it and the edges. You can add stems to it from these other stamps. And that's a whole nother thing you can do with this set. So anyway, that's a, I went off topic. But thank you guys very much. Have a wonderful week and I will see y'all next time. Bye.